Yeah, I am how are you on win? I'm back again on your way with dreams and interpretation. Today we are actually going to look at dreaming and losing either a tooth or the whole set of teeth in your mouth. <laughs> Most of you do have these dreams and sometimes you wake up, immediately you wake up, you quickly go like, oh my gosh, then you find out that the, the teeth are all there. But in the dream, you had lost all. What does that mean? That is loss of glory. Do you know what this means? What this means is that if you wake up and you don't really pray about it, there is a public disgrace that awaits for you. Normally, this public disgrace normally comes from, um, let's say, a false accusation, something you haven't really done, and at the end of the day, um, people might lie on you that you did it. And at the end of the day, you can really find out that no matter what you speak to people, no matter what you say, they won't believe it. So that means there is a public disgrace ahead of you. And you have to be very serious and pray. Any weapon of the enemy that wants you to lose your glory, that because, because if you lose your glory, nobody respects you again. Let's say if you are even a chief, or let's say even if you're a pastor, and let's say you sleep with the members of the church, and you start having this dream, if you don't take care, one day, one day, you're going to be caught on camera, and maybe you might be posted on social media. Then it will disgrace you. That was the meaning of the dream you had, whereby you had lost your um, teeth or maybe one tooth. So it's a bad dream, but I'm saying that if you do something about it, you can reverse it. All right, so always based on a quotation. All right, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Based on that, break anything that has been planned against you on this planet earth because we are here with spirit beings that cannot be seen, demons. So they always collaborate with your family and they always plan evil against you. They want you um, to be disgraced all the time. So what you need to do is that when you wake up, pray against any spirit that wants to cause a public disgrace through maybe an act you are doing, which you have to stop if you know it's bad, or through a false accusation. Now, there is also another form of that one. In a situation in the dream whereby you see one tooth or maybe the whole set of teeth being removed, but if you look at it well in the dream you can see a new one that is coming and normally this new one is very white that one is good old glory being replaced by a new one so wherever you were disgraced god is going to glorify you there is somebody getting me let's say you are being falsely accused of something you, you knew nothing of and at, at the end of the day maybe even at work maybe there was a money that got lost but they said it's you meanwhile you know it wasn't you and you have this kind of dream every place that you have been disgraced god is going to vindicate you and it's going to glorify you so if you see in the dream that the whole teeth is removed or even one tooth is removed but you can see that there is a new one that is coming that is good. So you pray for God to protect that kind of glory that is about to come your way. Now, there is also another one which people don't normally um, dream of in the situation whereby you see your teeth. That is more than normal. Okay. So let's say if you're supposed to have like 32 teeth and in the dream you can see that you have plenty of teeth that you can't even close your mouth. It is not a bad dream. It is not a bad dream. It, it is a glory that God is going to give you above the real measure of glory. Is somebody getting me? So normally if you have this dream, you have to know there are parts of blessings that are coming that will glorify you. Praise God. So this is all about teeth or maybe a tooth. Okay, so when you wake up and it's bad, that means it's off. You have seen your own whole mouth empty or you have seen maybe the front teeth not there, but you are not seeing any new one. You need to pray against that because that one is bad. But if you see a new one, pray to protect it because that one is good. If it's more than the number of um, teeth you have, I'm telling you that is also a good one. So you have to pray and protect the blessings or the many blessings God is bringing your way. 
I hope you get me. I don't want you to miss our dreams and interpretation because in this September, I have started the part four or the season four of the dreams and interpretation. I want you to come to Accra Girl guys and come and learn more about your dream. The rationale behind this is to assist you understand your own dream. And after understanding, you need to do something about it. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.